Hi, hello, welcome back to another function. This is Krish Bhavna. If you are for the first time, I'm a computer science student at University of Illinois at Chicago and I'm minoring in entrepreneurship. If you haven't already, please do subscribe because there'll be content every week. So now let's get started. Today we'll be talking about the pointers and the linked list in the assembly language. So the assembly language that we'll be using is x86-64. So there are three rules before we get started. Rule number one. Please, please, please do watch the previous videos in the series. I will leave the links in the description below and also pin them somewhere over here or here so that you can watch them. So please do watch them or else you're not going to understand this video. Rule number two, I'm also a beginner in this assembly language. I'm doing this as a class project for my mission organization class. So if there are any mistakes, please do comment down below. I'll do my 100% research, but if you see anything, please do let me down in the comments below. Number three, this is start from the perspective of C programming. And as I told you before, the language is x86-64, the 64-bit one. So now let's get started without any delay. So let's start with pointers and assembly. Firstly, I hope everybody know how pointers work in C or C++ because they're pretty much the same in both the languages. So just for a quick review, for example, if you're declaring like a pointer, you need a star in front of it so that you know you're pointing it to something. For example, if you want to write like a basic program, maybe you can say int x is equals to five and then create a pointer, maybe int pointer y and then just assign it to the address of x so that instead of just telling it to assign like a certain value or just telling it to look at the address of it every single time rather than updating it every single time. So that's a good practice if you're in C or C++. There are no pointers in Java or Python, but pointers play a very big role in C and C++. So that's the basic intro for the pointers. And coming to the linked list, linked list are something when we have like a node and each node is pointed to the other one until it hits a null point. So linked lists are very powerful data structures especially when you know like um, everything is attached by each block. And um, for example, if you're searching for something, um, the big O is going to be off and, and then even the update is much easier in linked list because of the powerful data structure. So there are 14 general purpose registers in the assembly language that we are talking about. So for example, let's say we have like an RBX, which holds an integer, then it actually holds the data of it. Or let's say we have a pointer, which is at RBX, which actually holds the address of where the actual data is. So that's how uh, we try to like uh, declare the pointers in the assembly language. Now let's look at the example for the pointer. Let's say we have these three instructions, move well five to negative 12 RBP and the negative 12 RBP is X. So in the first command, we are moving the five into the destination of RBP 12, negative 12. So now X is equals to five. In the next line, we are telling Lee act negative 12 RBP, which is our X. And we are creating another address called RBX. So now RBX holds the actual address. RBX is the address of X. And then in the next command, now let's say move Q negative 12 RBP into RAX. So now we are moving um, the five into the another address called RX. RBX stores the pointer. Next is creating a pointer. Let's say we have an ampersand X, which creates a pointer to the X. In the same way in the assembly, let's say we have React negative 12 RBP to RAX. That means we are telling RBP 12 is like, like let's assume that's X then we are telling RBX is equals to the address of the X. So that's how we try to do um, the pointers in the assembly language. Next, remember this, every pointer has a type, int pointer I, char pointer C, like all these are like types and void can point to anything, but all this can be only done in high level programming languages like C or C++, but it cannot be done in lower level languages like the assembly because Assembly language doesn't really have any types. How do we do it? You know it. Yes, exactly. By the byte sizes. For example, if you're trying to figure out like what's its type, you can only figure it out by the byte size of it. So that's how we create the pointers in assembly. So now let's talk about the casting pointers. So casting is a very common practice, which is done in many languages, but casting only changes its type, but it can never change the value. 
For example, let's say we have int pointer p is equals to 0x50,000 and when we're trying to convert it, nothing really changes for that. It just becomes a char pointer rather than an int pointer, but the pointer p will be having four bytes starting at that address, C points at one byte starting at that address. So casting point will not change the value, but it will change the type, which means the bytes will have different sizes. So always remember that. As we talked before, linked list is nothing, but it's a node which points to another pointer. So here, of course, the pointers do play a big role. And then also everything is linked to other node. And the final node will point to a null. That is when we know the, there's no more linked list after that. So now let's get started with the linked list. So now uh, look at this linked list program here right now. And if you look at this, we have a struct called node, which holds a value and which holds a pointer to the next. So for example, let's say we have created Two new instances of that let's say we have struct node a struct node b and we're telling the struct node a dot val is equals to 10 and let's say uh, the next point to the address of b and then let's say the value of b is going to be zero and then b dot next is going to be zero which is basically let's say for now let's imagine that's null so now let's say if we have to do the same exact thing in the assembly then we have to do or we have to follow a certain way by knowing that r x is going to be the main register which holds the value of 10 which means that's going to be the a dot val and now we are telling rbx that's a new register which is going to have 8 rax so if you remember the cases from last week we were talking about 8 rax would tell us that rax plus 8 so RAX plus eight is going to be the new register, which can be B. I mean, that's how uh, we usually declare it. So RBX is B, now RAX plus eight is going to be the RBX or the B. And now then we're told RBX is going to be six. And then we said eight plus RBX again is equals to zero. So for example, this eight is the size of each struct. So that's why we said RAX plus eight eight is going to point to rbx so now let's look at the equivalent code of linked list so that you can compare it so that you can understand what we're talking about so now let's say we have struct node and then let's say we have the same exact values like last time and now let's assume we have this program uh int sum is equals to zero while um while car node is not equals to null and then uh sum is equals to sum plus car node's value and then Carnot is equals to Carnot next. So what we're doing is we're trying to add every single uh, value inside of each node in the linked list until it reaches the null. So for example, if we have to write the same exact thing in the assembly, this is how we're going to write. We're going to say move L0 is going to be the EDX. So for now, let's assume EDX is going to be the sum. And now let's write another line which says jump to test. So now it will jump to test where we will say test Q R A X R A X. So that means we are trying to look whether the car node is reaching the null point or not. And now the next line says jump if not equals to if they're not equals to then we're jumping to the add L point which is where we're adding the register value at that certain uh, node into the sum and then the next line says move q8 uh, rax into rax so now what do you think this line is talking about so let's say rax is equals to the destination then rax is equals to rax plus 8 rax so that is nothing but car node is equals to car node next because we know the size of that linked list is going to be of eight. We are just adding and we're telling it to look at the next node in the linked list. That's the video for today. I really hope you all like the video. If you have any questions, please do comment down below and pointers and linked list. This is just an intro video. There's a lot to explore in this area because you know, there can be different sizes of a linked list and there are different pointers. So there's a lot of scope that you can explore in it. So please try to do your own research. 
And if you have any questions, comment down below and please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all this Wednesday with something really fun. Until then, signing off. This is Krish Bhavna.